Good morning and welcome to this edition of the Lynn Hayes Free Lynn Show. We have so much to get in in this half in, in this half an hour. You will be amazed. A little bit later in the program, we're going to talk about leadership opportunities. We're going to talk about a dance performance and we're going to meet the author creator of a comic book. But we begin with a celebration of sorts. It is a celebration. Ralph P. Watson of Classic Events, exclamation mark, is here to talk about his latest venture. And Pauline Calabrese is here. And she kind of fits into this because she was a recipient last year of one of the honors in this legal community. That's right. Terrific. Okay. So now, all that said, Ralph, what's this all about? All right. This is our fourth annual, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. This is our fourth annual celebration. It is Classic Events' fourth annual Salute to Legal Excellence. Okay. It is a formal gala this year. Had to up the ante a little bit because the event has been so well received mm -hmm. by the legal community and by the entrepreneurs that have been vendors there. They do extremely well. So I just decided to collaborate that and make that a good, solid marriage. Mm -hmm. and turn it into a formal gala. So when we say formal gala, formal being black tie gala? Yes. Wow. Yes. And where is it going to be this year? The Double Tree Hotel in Monroeville. Okay. And it will be out uh, 100 Mall Boulevard. Uh-huh. Monroe, right there by Monroeville. Yeah, the, yeah, the do yeah. most of us know where the Double Tree yeah. Monroeville is. Okay. So let me ask you this. You were a past recipient. Was it last year or a couple years ago. Last year. Last year. Tell me what that, uh, describe for me that feeling. I mean, being recognized is always special, but when you're recognized with a group of your colleagues, it seems like it makes it even more so. Well, then it is. Um, you know, there are, uh, when you look at the recipients, there are people who uh, actually give and, um, you know, we do pro bono work, we do a lot, we try to do a lot for the community, for the underserved community. Mm -hmm. And certainly we don't do that for the recognition, but it is awesome to be recognized. And you know, I mean, that's an interesting point because when you talk about we do pro bono, but we don't do it for the recognition, but you're absolutely right because that pro bono work can make all the difference in the outcome of a case or ultimately in someone's life. Oh, absolutely. Um, I had no idea that I was going to be the recipient of this award. Of mm -hmm. the award. You know, you, you do things and you think no one's watching. But Ralph Watson was watching. Ralph was watching. And it really does make a difference. Uh, and people don't, put, it is nice to be recognized, mm -hmm. but it's also nice that the community also learns that these resources are out there for them. Which is a good I know that a lot of people, I mean, you would not believe how many phone calls we get from people here who right. say, hey, I need a lawyer, I need this, I need that. And sadly, we're not this vast resource that everyone thinks that we are. So this community connection is good. Let's talk about uh, how many people are being recognized. We're not going to name them all. You know, we've got about, uh, <laughs> I went off for nominations, got an overwhelming uh, results from that. And so we narrowed it down to about 19 people. Okay. So that's a huge event. It's a very eclectic mix. I've got a, a, an, a, uh, a police officer. I've got a magistrates. I've got two huh. judges, a lot of attorneys, of course. And uh, one young lady, we tried something a little different this year. Her name is Tara Lane. and mm -hmm. She is a law student at University of Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. And be recognizing her this year. This is very excited about this because this is her very first recognition mm -hmm. as she embarks upon her legal career. Mm -hmm. And this is important because when media exposure is important uh, as well as being recognized among your peers mm -hmm. and outside community organizations such as classic events. Because as you know, classic events toward promoting the entrepreneur and that's where we start and stop absolutely now let's talk about the event itself it's on the 27th of, of October yes. okay so it's coming up how do folks get tickets come on this is your oh, plug this me. is your okay. time to plug Ralph <laughs> <laughs> they can call me at 412-723-2414 that is office landline number or email ralph p dot at aol dot com Okay, all right. And then I'm guessing because now this is a gala, mm -hmm. uh, is there a cutoff for reservations? Do folks need to get their tickets ASAP? They need, yeah, they need to get the, anybody, the stragglers, there's always going to be stragglers, but they need to get their tickets ASAP. I've got a couple of vendor spaces mm -hmm. left. Okay. And, uh, you know, every event, classic events does, is uh, an opportunity for anyone to promote their organization, 
business, product, or service. Mm -hmm. So, Pauline, let me ask you this. What is it that we as the community at large probably understand the least about the legal profession? In relationship to what Ralph Watson does, I think, mm -hmm. is that. So I'm a partner in the downtown law firm of Natera and Associates. Okay. Most folks think that they can't get a downtown attorney to represent them in their cases. Because they think it's cost prohibitive? Absolutely. Okay. Um, and so they don't have access to the courthouse door. So I think what Ralph does is, first of all, as I said, it is nice to be recognized, but that's not why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. But I think that it does let the uh, underserved community know that there are resources out there. And uh, I think a lot of folks know about health care and, and maybe, you know, food banks and things like that. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that they know how to get legal services. I think you're right about that. And I do think the idea of getting an attorney, hiring a private attorney, right. gets to be overwhelming and people assume right off the bat they can't afford it. And I can tell you, I certainly don't treat my paying clients uh, better or differently than the clients who can't afford to pay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, give me the date again. It's October 27th. October 27th. Times it start. Five o'clock with a cocktail. It's a gold carpet event, um, cocktail reception. Uh, Debbie Norell will be my gold carpet correspondent. Everybody knows Debbie Norell. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a great event. And give us that email address again. RalphP.Watson at AOL.com. Phone number 412-723-2414. And I'd like to give a, a, just a quick shout out to Ten seconds. Asthma Institute, <laughs> Three Rivers Adoption Council, Lee Davis uh, and Associates, and Frank Walker Law All right. for supporting this event. Perfect. Thanks so much. Thank Sounds you. like a great event. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, we're going to talk about opportunities in leadership. Don't go away. When the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show continues. The Lynn Hayes Freeland Show is sponsored by Dollar Bank, providing mortgages for mothers with less than perfect credit. We're America's largest independent mutual bank. Without shareholders, we're able to think differently about the banking options we offer, the way we do business, the support we provide to the communities we serve, Experience the difference mutuality makes for Dollar Bank customers and our region. Dollar Bank, mutually inspired. At Chatham University, sustainability is about much more than renewable energy. It's about healthy woodlands and watersheds, innovative local food production, and inspiring the students of today and tomorrow. With all that said, we've got renewable energy covered too. Will you stay for practice, Mom? Uh, yeah. Are you crazy? You love her. Wow. During the fall cleanup event, well-qualified lessees of competitive vehicles get a low-mileage lease on the 2018 Pacifica for $2.99 a month. Allergy congestion can keep you from enjoying the moment. Allegra D combines a fast, non-drowsy antihistamine with a powerful decongestant to help you break through symptoms for 24 hours of relief. Get back to the moment with Allegra D. Okay, let's go. Turn right here. Here? Yeah. During the Jeep Adventure Days event, Discover deals as legendary as Jeep SUV's 4x4 capability and the confidence to go where you've never gone before. It's more than just a test drive. It's your first adventure. That was awesome. Started off with a great deal at the Jeep Adventure Days event. Well-qualified returning FCA lessees get a low mileage lease on the 2019 Jeep Cherokee 4x4 for $189 a month. Back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. A couple months ago, you may remember that we had a segment. Uh, in fact, I believe one of our guests, Evan Frazier, was here that day where we talked about the concept and the launch of the Advanced Leadership Initiative. A lot has happened since then. Here to talk about it, Evan Frazier is back once again. Evan, you have a long title. Um, I'm going to say, for the purposes of this conversation, sure. though, it is Founders. Founding director, founding of the advanced director of the Advanced Leadership, Leadership. and you brought with you now a new addition to <laughs> yes, the team, Robert yes. Young. Thank Welcome. Thank you for having me uh, here. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's talk about let's. Yeah. I always assume that people watch every week. 
Sure. But in mm -hmm. reality, they don't. Sure. So <laughs> let's give them a little background on what the Advanced Leadership Initiative is all about. Sure, sure. So the Advanced Leadership Initiative is really designed to build the pipeline of African-American executive leaders mm -hmm. in this community. And so we're, uh, we're really uh, uh, felt it was important to have uh, something that's actionable mm -hmm. that will help to really move things forward and not just not just talk about things, but to really see some tangible action. That's really what it's about. So our goal is to invest in 20 to 25 uh, high potential African Americans every year, hopefully for the for many years to come, mm -hmm. to really build the pipeline. And so we've created a, a world class executive leadership. Uh, program mm -hmm. experience uh, by partnering with the Tepper School of Business at Carnegie Mellon University. Okay. And uh, through not only the academic side, but the the mentoring that the executive uh, coaching uh, and executive mentors that we're bringing, we think that it's going to have a tangible impact on this on region. This community. Absolutely. Yes. So Mr. Young, yes. tell me how you got involved in this and what you think your biggest challenge is going to be. Yeah, I'm thrilled to be a part of the Advanced Leadership Initiative. Uh, for the past three years, I've been an ex account executive with Simpson McCready. I've had the fantastic opportunity to continue my passion uh, towards the community and Pittsburgh uh, as a city by uh, working with a number of nonprofits uh, from family resources uh, to the Holy Family Institute supporting my alumni associations of uh, Penn State and Pitt uh, and having conversations with Evan uh, on the initiative and the need uh, to include uh, an additional uh, mid to senior level individuals mm -hmm. in that pipeline towards executive leadership roles uh, was just something that uh, I couldn't uh, be more excited about. Absolutely. We could be more excited to have Robert Young here as the new managing director for the Advanced Leadership Initiative. Yeah. Terrific. So tell me where you are in the process. I mean, are you looking for candidates? What's going on at this moment? So current moment, uh, we have uh, a uh, approximately 50 uh, individuals who've already applied for 20 to 25 spots. Wow. So we're in the evaluation mode right now. Uh -huh. and, uh, in the next uh, upcoming weeks, uh, we'll, we'll have solidified our, our class uh, as we get into the beginning of November. Uh, but then starting in January, classes begin. Yes. And we'll kick, mm. uh, kick off the program officially. What do you think the biggest challenge is going to be? You know, I'm excited first about the cross-sector commitment that we've seen from community partners, corporate partners, and our academic partner. Uh, you know, I believe the biggest challenge uh, is um, educating our participants in um, the ways to approach uh, implicit bias potentially in the mm -hmm. workplace. Things that um, have created the need to uh, have this intentional pipeline uh, for individuals to step into executive leadership roles. So those conversations that have happened. And let's be clear, yeah. this is not going to be easy. No. Uh, you're going to no. have to work <laughs> at this. This is not an easy task, mm -hmm. and we recognize it's, it's long-term work that we're doing. Mm -hmm. But I think that by taking steps now, we're going to see very tangible impacts in five years and certainly uh, as we continue each year putting, putting new classes in place, I think we're going to see impacts. Our goal, we have two broad goals. One goal is um, to really address the issue as, you know, often you have uh, African-American professionals leaving town mm -hmm. because that there's just no oh, opportunity yeah. to grow right. and advance here, right? Uh, so we're hoping to have some impact on that by getting people more deeply rooted in this community, mm -hmm. by deepening their connections, uh, creating a stronger peer network and those kind of things. Uh, the other reason people leave is that uh, very often people have choices. They can go anywhere they want in the country. Uh, they'll come to Pittsburgh and feel isolated. Sure. Mm -hmm. And so our goal also is to, uh, through the cohort that we're creating and the alumni networks that we're creating to really uh, create a greater sense of community right. so that people have a strong peer network, they have deeper connections in the community, stronger connections in their own organization, sure. uh, as well as uh, the some of the other things with uh, Those the... Those roots make all the difference. Exactly. Robert Young, we got about 30 seconds left. How w What will be your first benchmark? How will you know, hey, this is working? Well, you know, we're already seeing a measure of success with the number of applicants that we've seen uh, during this first phase okay. of the program.
program. Uh, you know, when we think about the measure of success, it'll be also the executive mentors that mm. step in to engage with our participants and the relationships that thrive through their interaction. Um, you know, I feel that uh, this program, along with others, will aid in elevating Pittsburgh uh, as being recognized as an inclusive and, uh, and diverse business community. Don't we need that? Best yes. way to get information from the website? From the web website, www.advancedleadershipinitiative.org. All oh, one word. Thanks so much. All right. You'll have to come back and keep us up to date. Look forward to We're it. We're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, it's not a comeback, it's a... you got to stick around to find out. <laughs> You're telling me you were friended by God. Someone calling themselves God friended me. They won't stop. One, two, three, four. I need my life back. I have no idea why anybody sent you my name. Everything was great until the God account came crashing down on me. But if all this account wants is for you to help people, it ain't a tough choice. With great power comes great responsibility. Churchill? No, Spider-Man. God friended me. New CBS Tonight after 60 Minutes. Monroe Garage, your Ram Truck Headquarters. No one beats our savings. Not now, not ever. During Ram Power Days, 2019 Ram Crew Cabs come with 15000 in savings or just $239 per month. What do Pittsburgh business owners say about NARTAC Media Group? The NARTAC Media Group has taken my business far beyond anything I could have ever done on my own. They're experts in media placement, television production, radio production. They're my partners, they've done a great job, and I would highly recommend them to anybody who wants to take their business to the next level. Real clients, real results. Contact NARTAC Media Group to get started. Bordis and Bordis, fighting for justice. It's the manufacturer's authorized double coupon sale this weekend at Levin's. Get coupon savings up to $500 off. Plus, we'll double your coupon up to $1,000. Plus, we'll double the finance offer through Monday at Levin's. I think growing up in Western Pennsylvania uh, gives you a really strong sense of family values and pride. It instills that in the fabric of your being. Don't call it a right. Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. What does that mean? Well, here to answer the question: two individuals, two perspectives. Nick Daniels, who mentioned to me he probably hasn't been on this show in probably about twenty years. Absolutely. And Trevor Miles, welcome to you both. Thank you for having us. Thank All you. Right. So don't call it a comeback. So what is it? Don't call it a comeback is our comeback concert actually <laughs> it's one of those things where um you know the uh mama said knock you out by ll cool j mm -hmm. opening line don't call it a comeback i've been here i've been here for years mm -hmm. well i have been here, uh but i took a, a short break okay of 20 years okay that's okay that's okay <laughs> and we're back and we're uh stronger than ever it's really interesting because uh, uh my dance company the dana movement ensembles and myself I just need to take some time away mm -hmm. and just refocus, refocus sure. my energy and um, creative types usually have to do that. They gotta you should back just to keep it fresh, keep it on the you know, keep it on the up and up, sure. ready to go. And uh, thanks to Janera Solomon from Kelly Strayhorn Theater, uh, she really pushed me and said, Okay you can't just do this one thing mm -hmm. you need to develop it okay and from there it just went from uh work that i did called take my hand to uh work that i'm doing called sissy which you're seeing images um flashing behind us uh -huh. with that and to um my new piece which is like this little juggernaut called um folk dances of a uh Nucleic village. Look at you, you're like the best cheerleader ever. I'm beyond excited about that piece. I can't wait to see it. You're like the best cheerleader ever. Okay. Now, will we get to see all of these on the 26th of October? You will get to see on Somewhere. the 26th and 27th, um, you'll get to see the uh, Sissy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing two s sections as of now, maybe the third section. Mm -hmm. And then we're also doing uh, folk dances, and we're doing that in its entirety as it is now. Uh, one thing that I've learned over these years in taking breaks is that I want my work to evolve. So 
you'll see it one time, mm -hmm. it will be one thing. Okay. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to flip it, okay. change it, change some parts around, there change you some go. dancers, and just make it something that's completely different and new. I do that with my show as well sometimes. Absolutely. You have to do it. <laughs> Trevor, talk to me about how do you fit into this? Now, I know you're, you are with Ryan Arts. Yes. Um, and I know that I originally, as you brought to my attention, got to know you uh, last year through Let Freedom S Sing, yes, yes. Uh, which is coming up. So how do you fit into all this? Yes. So I actually teach youth across the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nick has been kind of watching me for some time. He's hey, I, I want you to dance for me. And I'm like, Nick, I'm so busy. I got a bunch of things going on. But he finally was able to grab me for Three Rivers Arts Festival this year. Okay. And he introduced this folk dances piece to me. Hmm. And he really told us, pretend it's 15 seconds before a catastrophe. Go on stage. And I'd never had a choreographer give me that direction before. Wow, OK. So I was like, no, I have to work with this guy. This is, uh -huh. this is crazy. Sure. And uh, after doing Three Rivers, we started to blow up a little bit. Attention started to kind of move along. And now we are doing a full length concert. So I'm so excited to kind of give the world the full vision of what this piece is going to be. The story is crazy. Everything's crazy. There so much go. fun. Let <laughs> me ask you this, because your shirts say Dancers Against Normal. Yes. Talk to me about that in a minute or less. Oh, Normal Actions? Dancers Against Normal, normal Actions. Okay. actions. Yeah, that's the company name. Always has been. Since oh, that's what Dana Mudd. Dana, Dana That's okay. Against Normal Actions. <laughs> and it's it. just not taking something that is very normal, very natural, and making it extraordinary. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now the performance is at Kelly Strayhorn? No, no. actually it's at the... Oh, Janera um, just pushed you. Yeah, okay. She, she, pushed, right. she pushed me and <laughs> kicked me <laughs> right in there. But also... Um, no, it's going to be at the Ryan R. Center. Okay. Uh, in McKee's Rocks. Yes. Right. Yeah, okay. and that's why Trevor is here just to, you know, hold my hand a little bit. And, there you uh, go. Yeah, speak right now, of, yes, I'm serving right now as the, the resident choreographer at Ryan Arts, so it's super cool as like my kind of two-year residency final project to bring this incredible work to, to this forefront. Like, we're going to have some fun. Everybody in Pittsburgh really needs to see this work. Absolutely. Now, we got like a minute left, so give me 30 seconds each. Why should I come, and what am I going to walk away with? Imagery, drama, passion, love, fear, despair. What would you do 15 seconds before a catastrophe? How would you act 15 seconds afterward? The survivors, can you trust them? Think about that. You Is that the why the I should come or what I'm going to leave with? Yeah. All of it. All That's, of it. All everything. Of it. Uh, you're, <laughs> right now, I think Pittsburgh is in a renaissance, per se, of artists, especially black artists. When we have, a, like, for instance, I just got the... Um, you got 15 seconds. Okay. We, <laughs> we have um, the grants that are specifically dedicated for black artists, so it's wonderful. It's just really great things are happening, and this is one of them. Perfect. And it's coming mm -hmm. up on the 26th, 27th of October. October, be there. We'll have to get you all back and dance oh, come next on, time. Come on. Absolutely. There I you can go. bring the whole company. Thanks so time. much. We're going to take a commercial break. I told you we had a lot today. Wait till you meet my next guest. Wow. Don't go away when the Lenny H. Freeland show continues. Where should you buy a new Mazda? BudBearMazda.com. So fun to drive. Watch Healthcare Champions all this week on KDKA and learn how to stay on top of your health. Sponsored by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield and Allegheny Health Network. Xfinity x Five, a more powerful way to stay connected. It gives you super fast speeds for all your devices. Enhanced coverage. And lets you control your network with the x Five app. It's the ultimate Wi-Fi experience. Xfinity x Five. Simple, easy, awesome. Get started with Xfinity for just $79.99 a month for two years. Plus, ask about x pods for even more coverage. Click, call, or visit a store today. I'm attorney Blaine Jones. At Blaine Jones Law, I always fight for my clients. If you need an experienced and aggressive attorney to protect you, call or visit my website today. Trust in Blaine Jones Law. They thought you were loud then. They should hear you now. You're the brotherhood of muscle. Well-qualified returning FCA lessees get this low mileage lease on the 2018 Dodge Durango for $249 a month. We're America's largest independent mutual bank. Without shareholders, we're able to think differently about the banking options we offer 
the way we do business. The support we provide to the communities we serve. Experience the difference mutuality makes for Dollar Bank customers and our region. Dollar Bank, mutually inspired. The Lynn Hayes Freeland Show is sponsored by Dollar Bank, providing mortgages for mothers with less than perfect credit. Full disclosure, I'm not a comic book reader, but these comics books might make me change my mind. The creator, founder, managing editor, editor of Vasion, the series Vasion, is here. Christian Hall, welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you so, for having me. So, how do you get involved in this? Uh, I've just been interested in all this uh, my whole life, uh, watching cartoons and reading my mother's comic books, uh, Spider-Man, X-Men, all of them. So. So are you into superheroes as well? Yes. Okay, very all right. Much. So tell me about Vasion. Uh, Vasion is a superhero comic book, uh, pretty much uh, African-American heroes. Mm -hmm. um, it's a group put together. Uh, it's a series of it all coming together and them fighting evil villains and stuff. So like I said, full disclosure, I'm not necessarily into comic books, but I do know like as a little girl, seeing a baby doll that looked like me went a long way. Yes, I'm guessing for young African Americans to see these characters in your comic books means the world. Yes, ma'am. Uh, that's one of the things I wanted to do. Uh, be able to, you know, as a kid when you're playing with your other friends and you're naming superheroes that you want to be, hopefully they can reflect and look at uh, want to be characters of color, you know, that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the biggest challenge? I mean, is it coming up with these characters and coming up with a storyline? Uh, yes, uh, doing, you know, putting it together, keeping the series going, trying to make sure there's no uh, holes in what you're writing and everything like that. Yes, ma'am. And how many books are there in the series? Right now there's five. Uh, next year there'll be three more coming out quarterly uh, each fourth month of the year. Wow, this is so exciting. Now I want to read these. <laughs> <laughs> so how can people get them? Where are they available? Uh, they're available in some of the local comic book stores in Pittsburgh. Okay. And actually, um, you can order them off my website, Second Coming Comics. That's 2ND, uh -huh. Coming Comics with the X, uh, dot com. That's off of my website. Now, I don't want to necessarily give anybody a commercial plug, but like where, what are some of the comic books in stores in town? Uh, in Ads, oh, okay. uh, Phantom of the Attic in Oakland. Yeah, so. Ah, okay, see, yeah. I do know about both of those. Yeah. So what was the big, biggest challenge in getting this whole project off the ground? Um, well, uh, finding the artists, mm -hmm. uh, finding uh, the people to help me put it together. Um, I actually have, um, I uh, got my sister and my brother involved to write with me and everything. So mm -hmm. just putting a team together uh, and trying to get it out there to where people know about it. Okay, because here's the thing, and don't take this the wrong way, but a lot of times people give you their book, their magazine, and it almost looks like something they made in their basement. Mm -hmm. um, but these are like real comic books. Yes, ma'am. I mean, it's like good paper quality and, and everything you would want. Was that uh, part of your vision? Yes, ma'am. Um, actually, art grabs people. Mm -hmm. I was looking for the artist to uh, that would be uh, that I would be a fan of, and uh, I met him. Um, he does incredible work, and uh, or uh, and the colorist as well. So yes, um, just putting it, like I said, putting the team together and uh, finding artwork that will grab people. So you have three more coming out next year, being 2019. Yes, ma'am. And it's a continuation. Of, I mean, I guess that's how comic books work. It's a continuation of the same story. Yes, ma'am. So what's the message then? Is there a message, especially for young African Americans? And I realize that not just kids read comic books. Um, a message, uh, one of the messages is you can do it, you know, follow your dreams. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully you'll be able to go ahead and get it. Another thing is um, that we're cool, we're su we can be superheroes as we well. We can be superheroes too. Give me the website again. Second Coming Comics, that's 2ND, mm -hmm. coming comics with an X, dot com. Awesome. Next time I see you, I will have read some of these. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. In the meantime, I am Thank Lynn Hayes Freeland. Thanks so much for joining me. And don't forget, this is all on the web at kdka.com. Check it out. And, of course, you can follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that good stuff. We'll see you next week.